What's up, insiders? This is your weekly news flash. I'm your host, Connor. Let's get into those updates. This update is a serious one. May 6th was World Password Day, and we want to use this as an opportunity to remind you how to create secure passwords that can help keep your account safe. We'll leave a ton of information in the description below. All right, now on to pre-published checks. We have a lot of feedback via the comments underneath last week's video, citing the pre-published checks were taking a lot longer than normal. We want to keep the community updated that there was a bug which was responsible for this, and that latency has been corrected and the bug has been resolved. That means the pre-published checks should revert back to the normal turnaround time with copyright checks taking a few minutes and ad suitability checks taking a little bit longer. Let us know if you've any feedback in the comments below. Onwards with creators on the rise. Now, new creators emerge on the platform every single day, and we wanna share them with you and celebrate the diversity that they bring to YouTube. Creators on the Rise has been a great way of making this happen, and we're really excited that Creators on the Rise is launching on trending in Turkey, Poland, and Italy. It's a great way for these creators and artists to find their fans. For a full list of countries where this is launched, consult a link in the description below. Now on to shorts, our favorite recurring topic. We recently released the ability to sample up to 15 seconds of audio from alternate shorts available to users in India and the United States. We're happy to announce that over the coming weeks, we'll be rolling out slowly in India and the United States, the ability to sample audio from any video on YouTube. This means that audio from any long form eligible video on YouTube can be used to create a short. And anytime this happens, the short will attribute and link back to the creator's original video. Now, what's really important to understand about this development is it's a great way for fans to engage with a creator's original long form content in a new way. So it's really opening up your channel via an entirely new avenue. Let's talk opt out. If you wanna opt out, you can uncheck the shorts permission box in the upload flow itself which says allow people to sample this content. Now, if your video is already uploaded, you can change this setting in the video editing settings in YouTube Studio. The effect of this will be to mute any shorts that have used your content. We'll be rolling out the ability to bulk opt out all videos over the coming weeks, and you'll hear about that here first on the newsflash. Now, I hear you ask, what can I do if I want to opt out my short from having its audio used in an alternate short? And the answer is you can't do that, but what you can do is delete your short and that will serve to mute the segment of an alternate short that is using your audio. We hope this update will serve to create a whole new playground of creativity for creators and where you come in, you the watcher of this video is, if you can leave some feedback in the comments below, we'll pass that right on the product team. All right, we've gotten a bunch of comments about clips and that's where we'll bring this news flash to an end, not before we get to one of your questions though. So when it comes to clips, the good news is over the coming weeks, we'll be rolling it out to 10 times more channels. We'll be focusing on gaming creators first and the clips team wanted me to pass on to you, the creator insider community, that they've added a public watch count two clips, so on the clips watch page, you'll be able to see how many users have watched a given clip. Let us know if you've any feedback in the comments below. We'll finish up where we normally do, and that is with a dialogue between us and you, the Creator Insider community, facilitated from comments from last week's video. Now, this week, we're addressing Nuance Bro, who asked, and I'm paraphrasing here, what's happening with the policy updates that you made at the start of April? you said that videos would be automatically re-reviewed and I'm still seeing some videos that I think are eligible for the green icon still have a yellow icon. Now let's dig in to the fine print. What we said was any upload uploaded after May 2019 would be automatically re enqueued for review. We've completed that review and all of those uploads, any of which are eligible for the green icon, that green icon has been applied. But Nuance Bro, was very fairly asking, what about the uploads that were posted before May 2019? Now, we'll leave a link in the description below, 
explaining specifically what those policy updates are. And if you have uploads which you feel are now eligible for the green icon, the way in which you can get those reviewed is leveraging the support options via YouTube Studio, your chat and your email options. Let us know if you have any further comments or questions in the comments below. That's it from Creator Insider, from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. This has been your weekly news flash. Tune in next week for more key updates from YouTube.